Oh, I just wear this. Game, game, game. Hi. Okay, so we're live. What's up, guys? Here we have AK and other people playing Tekken Tag Tournament 2. So, Casey, what are we seeing tonight? Uh, we're probably going to see a lot of domination from this little kid that does a lot of damage with his combos. Um, you know, so AK is picking up Lisa and JC. Okay. And so we got Bruce and Brian on the other side. Oh, this is pretty sneaky, pretty sneaky. Bruce and Brian, uh, two guys who have good elbows, so... So how, how, is, how is the matchup for these two teams right here? Who has the advantage? Well, honestly, uh, it's a pretty even match because both, uh, I mean, both... Both teams? Both teams can do a lot of damage with their combos. All right, round one, round one. Let's get this on. Okay, so Bruce starts up with a... Yeah, he gets, gets crushed with a hop kick. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh. So, no punish. so Tekken is a game of with a lot of footsies. Mm -hmm. More than more than Marvel, Tekken has a lot of footsies. Oh, you gotta bring that Bruce out. It's nice back. One. So we got its rage mode on, but not doing any damage at all. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, oh that's a nice hop kick. Are we? Bring in your oh, it's not bounding. Oh, oh you didn't switch uh, in. Bit. Oh, it's this is over. This is over. So one for the people, one for the people. AK's probably gonna take this guy to the wall and do some more damage. Oh, I love that. I love that move. It, it really extends your combo. It does. It it's does. Not, it's for not for fun. One, it is right? not for fun. No punish. Down back three with no punish. He gets an up, a hub kick. Jason oh, that was a sneaky grab. Oh, here goes AK with a combo. That's a bound. Bound on the wall. Oh, oh. Taste that damage, huh? Bruce does a down forward. Uh, okay, that's a wall. That's a bound. This could be it. And, oh, he switches out. Just in the nick of time. I Bruce with the down. Uh, uh, I mean Brian with the down forward one. Oh, gets bound. Oh no. Oh this. Oh, that was a nice counter. Oh. So we're not seeing a lot of domination right now. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. So what? Wow. Iggy's probably gonna bounce. Okay. From the wall. Oh, oh. So how is that? Is it always supposed to be a big combo? I mean, um, is it supposed to be like a bound combo? Like, what do you, what do you call that though? Uh, after the bound, you have the option of uh, tagging your character in. Uh, but if you do, the opposing character, the opposing team, automatically gets rage for their partner. Oh! So if you let them tag in, then uh, the other guy can do oh, some damage. Uh, so we're, we're kind of seeing. Oh, is this a perfect? Oh, not yet. Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! We we are seeing domination! Domination! Like I said, just give him a chance to do a combo and it's gonna be a lot of damage. First two rounds, that was just, you know, testing the waters. Mm -hmm. This guy, this little kid is gonna own this. From this, we're seeing a lot of bias. <laughs> yeah! I mean, everything's happening so fast, I can't even catch up. <laughs> So earlier we saw Akuma and the panda. How that go? <laughs> that was honestly I wasn't watching. I was trying to prepare because <laughs> they they told me I was gonna be up against this guy next, and I was so nervous. I guess I guess your players don't really match. Oh, that was that move again. The pelvic thrust. <laughs> the powerful epic pelvic thrust. Oh, it's a wild running too. That was a nice punish. That was nice punish from AK. So we got two 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 two. This is the hot kick, but gets the follow up. So I, I like how JC has this combo that you can really extend. What was that? It was the. Uh, yeah, when she does her uh, pelvic thrust. Yeah. Uh, if you do it at the wall, it kind of bounces the enemy up so you can get more hits in. 
So, so we, we might be able to see that in one of his combos, seeing that most of the combos from AK yeah, ends it's on the wall. Extender. Oh, there was a sneaky grab. Okay, so we see AK down right now. 43 seconds on oh, the nice clock. Nice sidestep. Oh, oh shit. Oh my god. And he tags out. Oh, that was sneaky. JC has a lot of those moves. Trying to jab and sidestep. And you move in. Oh, Brian. Brian extending this. Oh, that's it. Oh, he just. Oh! It's still alive. It's still alive. Oh, no, no. Oh! This kid is owning this. Oh! That was a great match. That was a great match. Nice comeback. <laughs> We have a cold-blooded 12-year-old. Or is he 12-year-old or 13-year-old? 13, probably 14. But this sure. kid is cold-blooded. <laughs> From that, it was a, it was kind of lopsided, but that comeback was oh, just Bruce epic. gets it back to counter hit, and that's going to lead it. No. Down back to 1-4, tons of damage. Oh, 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 this is a nice corner pressure. Got to bring that character out. Oh, oh it comes. Oh, uh, tag out for safety. We've got two characters on rage mode. Lots of damage. Lots of damage, but no combos just yet. No, no, Casey, don't go. <laughs> okay, so James just told me that I was going to be fighting AK next. <laughs> so I guess you could just pray for my, uh, my soul. Bring <laughs> <laughs> Bring in more decent commentators, guys, please. Okay, okay. We see. What is that red bar? To those who don't know. Okay, so uh, the red bar in your life basically means that if you tag out your character, he gets to recover that red life slowly. Oh, okay, okay. So. Oh. It's a hop kick, it's a standing four, shotgun, gets the bound, that's an up for three, four, misses the ender, okay. Oh, is that supposed to hit? Is that supposed to hit? Yeah, normally it could hit, but I guess this is over, yeah. Uh, yeah. Because AK okay. missed, and then Bruce just launched him with a down four, too. Some spacing for both players, Bruce gets a uh, front counter down four, four, counter hit four, no follow up. It's a pretty nice bound right there. Perfect trust and the wall. Like, if you do that at the wall, most characters get a delayed up forward neutral four, which does a lot of damage by itself. So it's a really great way to extend your combos. And that was a sneaky low. Most Tekken matches end with that ambiguous low kick. Yeah, if you're in doubt, just hit him with a low. But it's not really that safe because a lot of uh, skilled players will try to uh, low parry it and just get their character out as soon as possible. Apparently, from that, we're seeing how high level this Filipino representative is. Yeah, it's like uh, it's from 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 what we hear, like AK usually uses those really really unsafe moves. Oh, that's moves, over. Though. That's over. Oh, oh, oh wait. Follow up. Don't discount him just yet. So, so AK really wants to use like those really unsafe moves. Oh, that's a nice unblockable. But which w w this makes this game really, really hype. I know. So, so, so. This is really intense. Two, two. Oh, uh, nice punish by Bruce. Gets uh, gets him out. Ryan's in. Nice hop kick by uh, AK. Launch to the combo. Oh, that nice misses. Leander. That misses. God. Okay, oh, nice that was a down. nice uh, wake, wake up three. Up. And we're him. back at the wall. Oh, misses the ender. And he switches out. Oh, oh what was that? Nice, that's a nice wall jump. 
I have never seen that move because, before. Uh, certain characters, when their backs oh. to the wall, they can press, uh, I'm not sure if a certain combination back back, uh, neutral up back, and then they'll do this uh, wall jump thing. They'll use the wall to their advantage. It usually evades a couple of moves, but it leaves you really uh, open. Because if your opponent just decides to jab you out of it, you'll end up at the wall and then they can just bound you and do more damage. Well, we're back to that point wherein we say AK is very unconventional. Yeah, you can just, just look at his face, man. He's out for blood. He's like, who this am kid I fighting say, against? Yeah. I'm going to eat you all. <laughs> <laughs> when I was 12 years old, I wasn't playing Tekken. <laughs> and I was, I was mashing Tekken. <laughs> Okay, so we got new sets of characters. Oh, we have Akuma. This Jin is my favorite character. Off. Okay. Oh, we have a Jin Devil Jin combo. Okay, oh, that's a nice tag. Oh, I'm rooting for the base on this one. He's gonna get. He's oh, 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 that. oh, that's it. That's yeah. it. I I think AK just moved a little Akuma. bit too close. Akuma is one of those sm oh, slow characters okay. with a really weird move set. But they deal a lot of damage. Yeah, and uh, you kind of have to play differently against him because he has long legs. Uh, I mean, he has long short arms, legs. but really short legs. So, so some, in some, some combos, points, yeah, some combos may not work if you're not in the right range. So what what should be what should the people, the Kumas, be doing against a Jin and Devil Jin combo? What should we look out for? Oh, you mean the combos? Okay, uh, the thing. The thing that uh, kind of sucks when you're playing big characters like Panda, uh, Panda and Kuma is that when you get to the wall, everyone almost always has uh, a better combo against you. Just because they're so huge. Okay, so so I guess we can discount this guy. He's gonna die no matter how much we love the, these bears. And it is over. So Jin and Devil Jin, what 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 are their biggest assets against these big bears? Okay, uh, it's it's not more about like what you can do against the bears specifically, but uh, it's a general strategy. For example, Jin has this move; it's a parry. Uh, he can parry all a lot of high and mid attacks, and it, uh, if he does it well enough, like if the timing's really good. Oh, certain characters that. Um, are supposed to have safe moves on block will not necessarily be safe if Jin gets the parry. So we see that Kumo, very unconventional. I love that. Lying down and just waiting for the kill. But I guess... Oh, we're back at the wall. So so we're seeing a lot of wall. He, oh, oh, he moves back. Pushes it out. Oh, okay. okay. Wall, we're back the at the wall. This is very deadly for a Kuma Panda combo. Lots of damage, but then we're pushing back, we're pushing back. Yeah. The bears aren't really that slow because uh, if you saw what just happened a while ago, the one where he um, swipes yeah. the opponent three times, that's a 10 frame uh, series of punches that combos and counter hits. So you still have to be careful against the bears. Oh, that was sneaky. What happened? What happened? Yeah. Nice down forward one into a four feint. And uh, I'm guessing that was a counter hit. Yeah. That was a counter hit. Because the thing with Jin's uh, down forward one. Oh. oh! Oh, was that a counter? Oh, bears! Reverses the tackle, but Jin uh, reverses at the same time. And that's going to be a bound right there. Bound on the kick and the push and the swipes. Nice. Nice counter hit hop kick. Get it bound. Not going to tag out. Oh, that missed. Okay, so we're, we're controlling this. Go Bears! <laughs> nice side step into 1-1-2. One, one, oh, misses the forward. Oh, the nice, floor. nice. He switches out just in the nick and time. Oh, okay. Panda with the rage mode. Mm. This is going to lead to a lot of damage if he can get out of that wall. Nice corner pressure from AK. As you can see, the Bears' legs are just so small. That's probably it. Oh, no, no. oh, let's do this! Oh, that's oh this is oh, no. over. Okay. All right. How many sets are we having? I think the next guy is gonna be. Oh, Garrett! We have Garrett. 
So Garrett Leto, what do you know about Garrett? Garrett okay, Garrett's one of the best Marvel players here in the Philippines. I'm not sure if you guys um, saw this. Well, he fought against Filipino champ when he visited last time. Oh, that's sick. Yeah, this guy has a very sick Doctor Strange, but um, I'm not sure. Like, I haven't seen him play Tekken.